class. Today I will be talking about lossy versus lossless compression. The web is what it is today because of audio. On a dark desert highway, cool in my head. Images. Video. And let's not forget document sharing. But all this data eats up space on our computer and may take forever for a web page to load or, for example, an image to upload online to your cloud if it's a large file size. Usually it's faster to download than to upload depending on your internet service provider. Mathematicians and computer scientists sought to create an algorithm that compresses data. There are two kinds of compression, lossy and lossless. Lossy compression consists of audio, images, and video. Lossless compression is used mostly for text files and spreadsheets. Let's talk about lossy first. The compression represents a near match of the data, not the exact data. Essentially, some data is tossed out that is not noticeable to the human eye or ear in case of audio in order to decrease file size. Some lossy examples are JPEG images, MP4 videos, and MP3 audio formats. The only downfall of lossy compression is that once it is compressed, you can no longer regain that information of the original format. The purpose of lossy is to decrease the quality to reduce file size so your website doesn't take forever to load images or your video doesn't take two to three days to upload on YouTube. Another downfall of lossy compression is when, for example, a compressed image is compressed again for a certain platform like Instagram or Facebook. More and more information gets lost and then the image becomes almost unrecognizable. Lossless compression compresses data, but it will represent the data exactly. Information stored in a spreadsheet would be useless if any information becomes omitted or substituted. For example, when you compress mixture spreadsheets and or text files into a zip file to share over the web or send in an email, once unzipped, the original format is restored. The file size is decreased temporarily, however, the quality of the item is not sacrificed. This can apply to images, audio, and video as well. Some lossless formats are RAW for images, MOV for video created through QuickTime, and Apple lossless audio Kodak through iTunes. However, if space and load time is more important to you, these formats may not be practical. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a quick example between lossy and lossless compression. This image that I have here in Photoshop is an example of a lossless compression. It's in the raw format. It came straight from my camera when I took this family photo. All the details that were recorded is stored into this file. So it's sharp, their faces are sharp, the colors are vibrant. So there's a lot of information in this one image. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over into Safer Web so we can see an example when it gets compressed or a preview when it gets compressed into a JPEG. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so we can see the family a little bit better here. So the JPEG right off the bat, it's compressed into a high quality JPEG. You can see that it's a little bit saturated, but their faces are still really clear. There's no, there's not much of a pixelation um, notice. So if we were to upload this into Facebook or into our Instagram, and we view it from our mobile device or on our desktop, we're not going to really notice much of a difference that this image has lost some data. However, just for fun, I'm going to make it super low quality JPEG, the smallest file size possible that it will be saved in. And now we look again, there's not, everything looks still great. But if we zoom in to 200% here, we start to notice we lost some data. The original image still looks sharp, of course and the image on the bottom, it starts to get pixelated. 
we start to see that we're losing that detail of this um, pretty woman's face. So this is just a quick example between lossy and lossless. There's um, obviously we lose information not only with images when we upload them or when we try to compress them. We, um, we lose information in video as well as audio. So I hope you guys enjoyed my um, presentation and I'm um, looking forward to discussing with you all. Thanks.